And Emily Murs joins us now for a look at the forecast. Emily. Well, we've been seeing heavy rainfall throughout the last couple of days, bringing a lot of widespread flooding around our region. Now, the good news is we are going to be seeing drier conditions starting tomorrow and going on through the majority of this week. Currently on radar, we can see a couple of showers still remain from some of that rain that we've seen throughout the day. Most of the rain in our area is starting to dissipate over the last hour, but we still are seeing a couple of showers in southern Minnesota as well as in northern Iowa. Now we can expect these showers to continue to dissipate throughout the next several hours, bringing in those drier conditions that we'll see this week. Here is Doppler estimated rainfall. This is what the radar thinks the rainfall looked like over the last 48 hours. That red and orange color means around two to three, even four inches of rain. And we're even seeing a couple of areas popping up yellow and that yellow is indicating over five inches of rain just in the last two days. So since Wednesday, here are some of the recorded rainfall totals that we saw from Wednesday through today. Sleepy Eye, Minnesota came in with a recorded amount of seven and a half inches of rain. New Ulm, St. James, in that six to six and a half inch rain range. St. Peter saw around five inches of rain. Mapleton and Lake Park, Iowa, under five inches, but over four and a half inches. And Redwood Falls coming in around four and a quarter inches of rain. Milford, Iowa and Owatonna in that three inches of rain range and Lakefield saw just under three inches in the last several days. So pretty significant rainfall so it is no surprise that a lot of areas are seeing some widespread flooding throughout today and even into tomorrow as well. But like I mentioned, the good news is starting tomorrow and through Tuesday and Wednesday, we're going to be seeing drier conditions. We do have another rain chance on Thursday, but it should be a lot less significant than what we've been seeing the last several days. And we will have some sunshine before then that will hopefully help to dry out some of that rain that has fallen. And then we'll be in dry conditions again as we approach next weekend and even going into that following week. Temperatures currently are in the lower 50s, 54 degrees in Mankato and St. Peter and New Ulm, 56 in Marshall, 53 in Slayton and Esterville as well as in Spencer. Now high temperatures today were in the mid to upper 50s, a couple places seeing 60s as well, 65 as the high in Glencoe, 62 the high in Redwood Falls, as well as in Spencer, 64 the high in Algona, and 61 in Forest City. Now we just saw 56 degrees today in Mankato. So tonight we're expecting a low of 45 degrees, mostly cloudy out there with a couple of showers throughout the next few hours, but then clearing out as we go through the overnight wind from the northeast. Tomorrow, a high of 69 degrees will be warming up back into the mid to upper 70s throughout the next several days. Partly cloudy conditions. As we look at the extended forecast, we can see a good amount of sunshine throughout the next several days. Temperatures in the mid to upper 70s. Scattered showers on Thursday, but then drying back out in time for that following weekend, which is definitely much needed after this past week. That's all I have for weather. Sports are up next after the break. This 10-day weather forecast is brought to you